Hi, this is Austin. Today, I would like to share how to change the names of shapes with just a one click. For example, we have a lot of shapes of the same type. And let's say we want to just change one shape, it's not difficult. We can just type at the name box there. And let's say we duplicate for a number of them. If let's say you would like to change one by one, it's really time consuming and quite troublesome because we want to click one and rename and click the other one, rename and so on. So if let's say we want to save time, basically we can ask Excel to help us by using the VBA. So we'll proceed to developer tab and look for Visual Basic. To make sure the coding is workable, we have to insert a module. As usual, start by giving a name. We just have to make use of follow for each shapes in where is the shape located? Sheet 1. So shape 1 dot what is that? The shapes. All we have to do here is to rename. So we have the shapes dot name is equal to if let's say we want to make use of numbering manner, then we just have to make use of the dummy. Then after we name one, then we go to the next shape. So what we have to do here is to make head count. So we have i equal to i plus one. What is i? I should initiate with zero. So for i equal to zero, then we reach to the first shape. So zero plus one is equal to one, which means that the first shape that we have will have equal to one. After that, we've done the first one, then we proceed to the second. So one plus one is equal to two, which means that this next shape should name two and so on. So we just have to run that everything done. So we can now check since already run. So we can check. So one, then as we can see, all the shapes now in terms of numbering. How if let's say we have different shapes, but not only one type. For better illustration, I will first delete all the existing shapes. Then we insert a few different shapes. Let's say we need over. Then we just copy a few. And now we should have, let's say, rectangle. And we use different color, the different shape. So that easy to refer. And we need a few as well. Then how about isosceles triangle? Then we just have to copy a few as well so that we can check the difference now. Okay, now we proceed to the coding part. How do we call for different shapes? We are not going to use the type name here because for type name, since regardless is isosceles triangle, rectangle, or over all of them classified as shape. So which means that if let's say we use type name and out, nothing happened. Not to say nothing happened, but uh, what we want couldn't get. So what we have to do here is make use of the name. So for example, like if we use the left function here, then what we need here is to call the shape. So the shapes dot name. Since all of them with the different starting character, we have oval start with O, triangle start with T. It's supposed to be isosceles triangle as we can see. So which means that start with I. Then for rectangle start with R. So basically they have different starting character. So we take the starting character is enough. So the one with O, then we need to change. Otherwise we do not change. So and if. So with if, of course we end with if. Then now we should run and see what happened. So we run already. Now as we can see, the isosceles triangle will still be the same. The name is not changed for all, all of them. Then for the rectangle, still the same. But when we click on the over, as we can see, the name is already now changed to numbering sequence. And we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.